Welcome back uh, with the Roundhouse with Cheryl, and as I promised, I would um, come back and give you a review on a few things that I picked up from the Dollar Tree over the last few weeks. And um, this was by L'Oreal, and it's the new Sublime Sun Sunscreen SPF 15. Um, I like this; it, it goes on nice, and um, I thought for a dollar, and it's L'Oreal. That's great. And um, as I mentioned in my first video, I tried the charcoal face wash, um, and this is, um, I really like it. It's almost gone, so I would recommend trying this. And then I tried this acne treatment, oil-free astringent, uh, salicylic acid. Um, I use it to um, take off some uh, makeup. It works pretty well. I would maybe try it again. Um, I picked up this Acne Body Wash, enriched with aloe vera. Um, good size bottle, 12 ounces, but I don't know if you can see this. It's, it's like water. Um, I don't know that I'd buy it again. Um, I've just been adding it into my body wash. So that was that. And this, I would not recommend, nor I would buy it again. I was excited because I have uh, bad feet. And I have an issue with calluses, and so I thought, hmm, this is a foot scrub, and it's in pink passion, and the package is really pretty. But I don't know if you can see this. I don't know whose feet this going to work on. It's like water. But um, it might be good for a, maybe a hand scrub or something like that. And now I got this all over my hand well I can tell you it's not even good for a hand scrub because I don't feel like anything going on other than water so you see it no don't pick it up I picked up this super dry polish um I like doing my nails but they get messed up before they dry and this works this works pretty well as far as drying your nails, let's see if you can see that. It's probably, I probably got it backwards, but anyway, super dry. And I like that, and I would buy that again. And this is a little base top coat and I, um, by LA Colors, and I like that too for the nails. Um, two other things I picked up the Art Deco by LA Colors. I picked up a white and a black, and I'm always trying new things and decorating my nails. Um, got a really fine tip and um, I like it um, I bought some before but I don't know if I picked up a bad one but it kind of dried up on me and, um, and this one I haven't tried the black oh this is has a really fine tip yeah I think I like this they have all colors um but I just picked up them black and white see that and um Another thing I was going to mention to you, um, as I said in my first video, um, I was going to talk about these L L brushes that I bought, makeup brushes. And I don't know, um, these are all e.l.f. brushes. And this one, um, it's kind of hard to see, Defining Eye Brush. I like this one. I think um, I would purchase this one again. And then this one is um, like a little, uh, I think it's like a, I don't know, it's kind of hard to read the side of it, but I think it's like a little concealer brush. At least that's what I use it for. You can see that, I like it. And I mentioned um, one of the uh, Total Face, face Brush. This is the one I talked about. Um, I don't know if you could see how, yeah. See how the bristles come out? So I really don't like this one. And this one, I, I, I like this one a lot. And it's a um, uh, blending eye brush. It, it, it's good. I like it. And then this one is for um, a bronzing brush. Bristles are not as bad as the other one. I use it. I, I like this one. 
And then that was all as far as the brushes go. But some other products I tried out that um, I fairly like, some I don't. Um, this one is a liquid makeup by LA Colors. I've used it. It's kind of light for my skin, but I use it sometimes. And then this was LA Colors Bold Lash. Kind of like it. It gets, gets a little clumpy um, taking it out of the package, but um, it's okay for me. And then um, I saw this, and I don't know why I didn't get more. And I don't know if this was the only color, but this was, um, I got it a little dirty. dirty. This was in Elme makeup, I, and it has the um, three colors, and green, uh, a little tannish brown, and a dark brown. And it also has the primer. I like this. Um, so I use that a lot. And then um, once in a while they'll have Physicians Formula makeup. And um, I picked this up. Really pretty colors. I use it. Um, not sure if I'm using it right, but I use it. I haven't tried the using it wet, but um, I will. And this I got from Sassy and Chic. It's a makeup foundation. I think it's too light for my skin. Um, also, it's a little bit watery. You see? It looks like it might give good coverage, but um, that's too light for me. Now I'm to the top one. Okay. So, I uh, tried that. Maybe buy it in a darker color. This is the liquid eyeliner I tried, and I'm um, not sure. I can't see the color, but anyway, it's like a blackish gray. Um, I can't draw the straight line, but I'll keep trying. And then, because I know I can't draw a straight line, I got this auto liner by Color Mates in black brown. Um, it, it goes on fairly smooth, but once again, not on my eyes. And the uh, line be jacked up. And this is a um, Wet n Wild color pencil in brown. Um, I tried it today on my waterline. It worked for, it worked fine. I didn't try it. Well, I take that back. I don't know if it was this one, but I think it was this one. I tried it and it broke as soon as I tried to put on my eye. Probably don't know what I'm doing. But as I mentioned, the LA Colors, the trio, this is the one I picked up. Really pretty colors. I like it. And then this, I tried um, LA Colors. It's a sheer lip gloss. Um, color is okay. But I find that it's hard to get the lip stuff out. And then it's sticky, so I won't buy that one again. And that's all um, I have for my reviews as far as beauty products go. So um, stay tuned. And I will be back again with some more Dollar Tree hauls. Hope you enjoy. Bye.